Hey, welcome to this video on um, converting units of measurement. Um, this is the first part of a two-part series. Um, on this video, I'm basically just going to focus on the main thing in case you needed help on your assignment. So I'm going to start us on page 173. Just to remind you that this is a very important page because you're going to need these numbers in order to do the next few pages here. All right. So with that, let's take a look at this. All right. We're using scaling up to convert between uh, units of measure. So if I have 2.5 pounds and I want to know how many kilograms that is, I need a conversion between pounds and kilograms. See how this is written in the um, equation form? Say that one pound is equal to 45 hundredths of a kilogram. Then we want to write that as a ratio or a fraction, a fraction ratio. And we're going to put one pound over 0.45 kilograms. All right. Then we're going to place this 2.5 pounds on the top because notice this is pounds, this is pounds, and this is going to be kilograms once we figure out the answer. So we are going to scale up. We're going to multiply by 2.5 to get our uh, 2.5 pounds, and we need to do that to the bottom. So 0.45 times 2.5 is 1.125 kilograms. So the answer would be uh, 1 in 125 thousandths of a kilogram. <clears throat> All right. Now, as we looked at here, to go from gallons to liters, I had to convert using this e uh, equation right here, that one gallon is the same as three and seventy-nine hundredths of a liter. All right, so I put a gallon on the bottom and 3.79 liters on top. I could have done it the other way, that's fine. But 16 gallons has to go across from the one gallon because that's how many gallons I have in these eight cans. And then I multiply by 16. So do that to the top. 16 times 3.79 would be 60.64 liters. All right now I started to box this and I erased it realizing that's not my answer. And the answer is, is this more, meaning this being uh, the 60.64, is there more or less than 50 liters? Okay. Well, 60.64 is definitely more than 50 liters, so I put more as my answer. All right, now your assignment is this page right here, 175, all right? And we want to look at each of these four problems and basically do the same thing, all right? Here it says Tyrone is a quarterback for the Tigers football team. He can throw a football 40 meters. Jason, the quarterback for the Spartans, can throw a football 45 yards. Okay, now it's going to be hard to compare these because we're talking about meters and yards. So we need to convert one to the other. So it doesn't matter if we convert this to yards or we convert this to meters. Okay, and the way we're going to do this is using this conversion table over here. All right, oops, went too far. All right, so I'm going to look for a yards and a meters. All right, and right here. One meter is equal to 1.9 yards, okay? So it might work better for me to use that to find how many yards this one is, okay? So write it as a ratio. i do my best here to write it. Oops, done. Okay. So I'm going to write proportion, oops, what's it doing? Oh well, you watching at home can be laughing at my terrible smart board skills. Uh, equals, it's harder to do this at the computer. So anyway, I'm going to go to the smart board. I'm going to pause. Okay, so I got my proportion set up, and I think it was 1 meter equals 1.09 yards. Okay, I'm just going to double check to make sure I'm right here. Okay. Yep. All right. Now, I want my 40 meters to go right here, and so I need to scale up. 1 meter to get to 40 meters would be times... 40, and then I'm going to do that down here, times 40. So I need to figure out 1.09 times 40, and that's going to be my answer in yards. But that's not my answer to the problem. My answer to the problem is going to be 
is this number right here that I get for yards, this right here, is it bigger or smaller than um, Jason's 45 yards? All right, so that's what we're going to need to do. We're going to use scaling up, scaling down by writing a proportion to answer each of these questions.